since I've had any sleep. I keep thinking about this John. I just can't shake the feeling that there's more to this story than he's telling me. The police station at Clearwater. If there's any place that holds the answers, it's gotta be there. But walking through the front door at three in the morning, they'll think I'm nuts. And that's a surefire way to get more questions than answers. Luckily, I found a lay-by at the side of the road. It looks like it leads around to the back of the building. This early in the day, I bet I can slip in unnoticed. I need to find out exactly who John is and what he's hiding. The sun's just touching the lake, quiet and peaceful, nice. This gate's locked, and if I want to get in, I gotta find a way to open it. Locked. Need to find a way through this. Perhaps I could break it with something. A locked gate, although the padlock doesn't look too strong. Ah, a good old sturdy rock. Could be useful. Through the gate, now to get inside without making a scene. That camera can't proceed until it's out of the picture. I need to figure a way around that camera before doing anything else. Better deal with that camera first, don't need a record of my visit. That camera's a problem, I don't want it to see me breaking in. A CCTV camera, there's gotta be a way to blind it. These things freak me out. It's a piece of a lockpicking set. This could definitely be useful. It's sad that you have to be warned not to drink what's in these things. Black spray paint. Now this could be useful. This thing served its purpose and then bowed out dramatically. An empty gas can, but I don't need it. A beastie looking monitor.
lockpick set. This could come in handy. I need to figure a way around that camera before doing anything else. Door is unlocked, but if I just open it, the alarm will go off. Need to find a way to fool it. Door is alarmed, and no way to quietly open it. Maybe something flat and metal might help trick it. A license plate. It's bolted down, but it could be handy. A spanner. Never know when you'll need one of these. This thin metal has potential. Should be able to open the door without setting off the alarm now. Tom, where are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm about to get to the bottom of this. You know where Abby is, because you're involved. Tom, it's essential to discuss what you're hoping to find. John. But what if you're walking... Ah, I've lost signal. I'll try again later. Door's locked, and I don't have a key for it. Come on, Tom. Tell me about John. I already told you. I don't know any John. Are you sure? Think harder. Were you aware of how dangerous it was to trespass in the facility? Moving this, the door's locked. Can't get in, the door's locked. An office is right there. Marching in is off the table. I need to think of a diversion. An appreciation night for emergency services. This could be useful. The door's locked. It doesn't budge. Perhaps I could use this to clear the officer from reception, but I don't know the number. A non-emergency number. Might come in handy. I'll try to remember it. Hi, my 
My name is Alex Carter from Pine Grove Community Center. I'm calling to confirm the details about your department's attendance for the emergency services appreciation night. Oh, I thought we'd already sorted that out with your team last week. Yes, everything is fine. We just need to confirm the final numbers. All right, no one's in yet to ask. Let me head upstairs, see if anyone's around early. I've got your number. Is it okay to call you back? Yes, of course, that's fine. Thank you. Nice one, Alex. That's odd, to say the least. This place gives me a funny feeling, kind of feels familiar. That looks dangerous. Ooh. Ah! How's this thing actually running? This old tank in the ground seems empty. The fuel cap seems pretty loose. It's a useful looking hose, but it's just out of reach. A pole and the hook on the end might come in handy. This old generator is still running. Surprisingly, this generator is running. Eddie, what's going on? Look, John is there to help you. Just don't do anything silly. Huh, a random stranger and my friend are both constantly calling me, worried about my well-being, all the time forgetting that Abby is still missing. Neither of you seem to understand how serious this is. Tom, of course we do. We just want to help you. Ah, nonsense, Eddie. He's here somewhere. I'm going to find him. Abby's vanished, and they want to save me? John's definitely got her. I just hope I'm not too late.
place is falling apart. It's out of reach. I need something to climb on. This is mine now. I'm taking this. Got a plane. This might help. Whoa, glad I got over here. These doors won't budge. Maybe there's a way to pry them open. Dead tree is blocking the way forward. Mm, this bar might give me some leverage. Huh, I'm getting good at this. Cheers. Now, just need to find a way to hold these together. These screws won't do the job. Run tight. I'd want something sturdier. These aren't the screws I need. I'd want something sturdy. Too long and thin. Check that out. Put together by my own fair hand. Sledgehammer. This could be useful.
found some wheels. This heavy trolley looks to me like it's missing its wheels. Elevated, but immobile. Shovel, this might help. I know this is hard. You've seen the truth now, haven't you? About Abby. 
The truth? You mean your lies? She's dead because of this place, isn't she? Because of what you did. It's not that simple, Tom. Abby's accident was tragic, yes, but it was an accident. Your mind has turned it into a narrative of blame and conspiracy. I've only ever tried to help you see that. Help me? By manipulating my memories? Making me think I could save her? It was never about saving Abby, Tom. It was about saving you. Helping you accept the reality that she's gone. The mind creates stories to protect itself, but those stories can trap us in a cycle of grief and denial. You call this help driving me to the edge, making me relive her death over and over. I wanted to guide you to acceptance, not torment you. Sometimes we have to confront our most painful memories head on to truly move past them. Yeah, we'll move past this. Huh? I guess you did teach me this in the end, Abby. Be nice to have one more game, huh? I wish you could tell me if I was getting it right this time. You see now, Tom? It was a tragic accident. Abby fell. It wasn't your fault, nor was there anything you could have done. It all... it all feels like a bad dream now. Like... like I've been asleep this whole time. What's been wrong with me, John? When your friend Eddie brought you to me, you were troubled. You kept talking about Abby as if she was still here with us. You couldn't accept her death, and your delusions were tearing you apart. That's why I needed to help you face reality, no matter how painful it might be. Delusions? Yes, Tom. The shootings, the wolves. You've been reliving your last adventure with Abby over and over. It's a cycle of your guilt and grief manifesting. And when I found you lost in the woods after the car crash, you'd forgotten even who I was. I took you to the lodge to keep you safe. Oh God, I stole a car. But wait, you had Abby's phone. I never did have Abby's phone. I placed an entry in yours for my number. I hoped letting this scenario play out would help you finally see the truth. I see now. It's just so hard, John. You think you know it all, and then life, it just throws it all in your face. I need to get out of here. Take care, Tom. I really hope this time it lasts. <laughs>